time. Go back into my mix down here. Uh, I'm going to work it back in my greens again. Okay. Go back into my pile of green. A bit of iridium. Just a little bit of white. Bring it up a little bit. Delivery. You gonna get it? Okay, let's see here now. You, know, you can just use whatever, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what brush you want to use. I'm just gonna put some of these little mid tone colors in here, just some more green knit. Some of these little patches here and there. I'm just gonna throw some in here and there. Now it's not a particular. I'm just kind of using this brush here. This is not written in stone. If you have one that you'd rather use, I've done it with uh, hand brushes and you know just old brushes, whatever you like to use. So whatever it takes to kind of give you some sort of a texture, you know. What I'm going to do is I'll probably get some of this in there and then we'll work in a couple other areas and I'm just probably going to set over for a few hours because that liquid will help to dry really fast. Okay, I'm get some burn over. Because it actually goes from pretty thin here. Things gray mixing with it too. Where that shadow kind of goes, kind of swoops right up in here. edge up a little bit there. I didn't say this, but I can also use my finger to to uh, blend with also. Some more greens in here. here and there, dark colors, whatever pretty much reflects up top here, I pretty much come down in here, back and through later on and kind of refine everything. And yeah, so I've got to mix it up a little bit here. I'm going to take my little fan brush here, my little soft fan brush. I'm going to kind of soften it now again because it's kind of it's actually kind of mixed all up here. Okay. Put my 
desktop I should get into this lime green here Let's put some highlights in it that way too still pretty wet so Please forgive me for that. Oh, that was that break I took. Not used to being on film. Like I said, I'm not a professional artist. I did get juried into a gallery down in Holmes Beach. <laughs> Of my work that I had, you know, if I can see any of the stuff in the background, I've got a still life hanging up there. I actually got into still life and for a long time. I actually was able to study some of the artists I studied was one was Ken Davies, uh, another one as I grew up was uh, younger was Norman Rockwell. I always loved realism. I used to love to try to do that. I've got a little bit freer. My art teacher is always telling me to free up, you know. I was always too intense, you know? Always too tight with everything. This way here a little bit, but uh, it makes it look like it's kind of it's kind of reflecting the water a little bit. Okay. Once again, take my little brush, hand brush. I'll go back in to hit all these dark areas again. There's some nice burnt umber. Looks like I need to get a nice fresh pile of burnt umber and some. There's probably some Payne's gray here. Mix it with it. It'll definitely darken up some here. Yeah, a little bit of Payne's gray in there. Mixed in with my burnt umber makes it a real nice dark color. Because it's kind of set way back in the back back there. The yeah, got a little depth to it. Okay. Okay, and we'll come back and we'll refine some of this stuff later on. Okay. I'm keep back into my blue here. I got a little bit too much green out here. It's okay because that's what reflections do. I kind of like make it give it kind of like a shimmer look on it. Brush off. How are we doing on time here? About 36 minutes left in this video. I'm going to go back into my gray screen again. I'm going to lighten it up. I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Actually, this uh, pole here is uh, pressure treated. That's why it kind of has that weird looking green color to it. Okay. Let's get a dash more 
white, and of course a little bit more liquid. It's going to go ahead and add a little color on it. This is where the sun's hitting it on this side here, so uh, lighten that up a little bit. Like I said, a little bit of liquid in it. And of course it's not going to be just, it's, it's a pull, so you don't want to make it 100% exactly perfect, that's for sure. You want the light kind of glimmering off it. It goes around it. Down here to it. Something just a dash of Payne's gray, just a little bit of Payne's gray there. I'll go ahead and hit this here, this side here. I'm not going to go all the way to the